What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing yet another off-meta Pokemon. We got ourselves a Scrafty team for today's video. Now when it comes to Scrafty, this Pokemon kind of reminds me of a little Incineroar. It's got Fake Out just like Incineroar, Knock Off just like Incineroar, and more importantly, it's got Intimidate just like Incineroar, one of the best abilities in all of competitive play. Scrafty is a dark and fighting type, rocking the poison tire type, and a safety goggle status item. Its other moves besides fake out and knock off are going to be super fang and coaching, which we can actually use on Ice Rider Calyrex, our restricted Pokemon, to give it a plus one boost in attack and defense. Speaking of Ice Rider Calyrex, this Pokemon is obviously rocking the clear amulet as item with Glacial Lance, High Horsepower, Trick Room, and Protect, a pretty standard moveset for Ice Rider Calyrex. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are going to feature Amoongus, Urshu, Raging Bolt, and Chiyu. Raging Bolt and Chiyu are top tier on the special attack inside. Amoongus is a great support Pokemon, especially within Trick Room, and Urshu is a top tier physical attacker. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Scrafty in Regulation G. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Rayquaza team. Now, Rayquaza is a super dope Pokemon, and it pairs up with Shen Pao perfectly because it can just go into normal Terra and E speed. Now, that is something I do have to worry about, but Scrafty going to be good here for Intimidate purposes. So, I am going to go Scrafty. I should be able to fake out, maybe get off a Trick Room, and kind of go from there. So, I'm going to lead Scrafty alongside with Ice Rider Calyx. Just a solid little Pokemon. Obviously, um, what is that? Rayquaza could have the clear amulet, which could be tough. So we might just want to bring in Amoongus because if we can get off Trick Room, obviously we can start sporing and kind of get an effort that way. So that's going to be the play for me. So I'm going to go into those three. And our final Pokemon here, they do also have Ursaluna, Dusclops, and Rillaboom. Ursaluna is scary. Maybe I want to go into Urshfu because of that. And I do. Being able to crit is going to be nice. Being able to crit is going to be nice, especially into Ursaluna. Ursaluna is just a bulky Pokemon. But then I have to worry about Rillaboom. But then I have Ice Rider Calyrex, so this should just be a solid match, but I am scared of the Rayquaza. Clear Amulet Rayquaza is just so good next to Shen Pao. The E speed is just ridiculously strong. I mean, we should be able to fake out. We should be able to pop trick him, and we should be able to start attacking from there, which should be really good for us. But one thing, I, another thing I have to watch out for is going to be Shen Pao Sucker Punch and Ice Rider Calyrex. So Terrestrializing in the Fire might have to be our play early in the game. We'll figure it out. We shall see. We shall see. A lot of different options. But I'm just going to hope that they don't lead Rayquaza Shen Pao. But chances are, honestly, every time I say that, they usually do lead whatever I don't want them to lead. So I think they're going to lead Shen Pao Rayquaza. I think that's what's going to happen. And no, it's going to be Ursaluna and Dusclops. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I think I can just go into a fake out here into Ursaluna. And I could just throw a... What's it called here, right? A glacial ants you could burn me dust cops that's that's something i don't like do i terrestrialize in a fire for that reason do i terrestrialize in a fire for that reason i feel like you're gonna burn me i could knock off your evo light instead of faking out ursaluna i'm actually gonna do that because there is a chance to protect and i am gonna terrestrialize and go into glacial ants actually i'm not gonna terrestrialize just yet i feel like there's a chance you pop trick room you could burn me, which I am scared. There's the protect from Ursulina. Good call. Good call on my end. Good call on my end. Glacial Lance is going to fly here. And chances are they are going to pop trick room. We were able to do this. Bop. Do a little bit of damage. Knock off. How much damage are you doing? How much damage are you doing? Knock off. Not enough, but we do get rid of that. That Evo light. Oh, Scrafty went first here. That would have been nice. And there is the Will O Wisp. There is the Will O Wisp. Wow. So the will o -Wisp ends up helping him out tremendously. Um, looks like I should just coach and Glacial Lance here, right? Do I want to pop knockoff? Not really. Or not knockoff. Do I want to pop... Do I want to pop Terra? Not really. Or, or even Trick Room. I think we're fine. I think we just go into coaching. We just start coaching up Ice Rider Calyrex. We'll see a Terra pop out from the Earth Luna. Most likely going into a normal Terra, right? Seems like a normal terror, correct? It is going to be a normal terror. And this is where I wish I had a fighting move. So I'd love to just rip up into this Ursaluna with a fighting move. But not bad for us. We're, we're not we're not sitting bad. Helping Hand's going to fly here. And this is looking a little scary at this point. He's looking a little scary. Glacial Lance is going to pick up the KO onto Dusclops. It does not. 
It does not. That burn doing us so dirty. <laughs> that burn doing us so dirty. I'm able to coach up, though. So we get up a nice coach. Attack boost. You on for hyper voice? You are. Where do you guys should survive this? Actually, I don't know. You do. Okay, cool. The so double survive. Do I pop tricker? Is the real question. This thing is third spray. Burn's chipping me up a little bit here. Hmm. I knew I should have went in the fire tower just to dodge the burn, man. It would have just been so big for us. Could swap Scrafty into a Moongus here. Just that fake out later in the game. It's gonna be my play. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go into Glacial Lance here. Moongus is gonna take a nice chunk of damage next turn, but I'd rather have Scrafty in the back end. That's fine. So we'll swap Scrafty. Not a bad thing to get us started. Some more. A bad way, but they, they honestly played that pretty good with the will I knew it was coming, too. I knew it was coming, too. Which I'm upset at myself for not Thrastalizing. Real upset at myself. I even said it. So we pick up the KO onto the Dust Cops. We get rid of that. Ursuline is going to pick up the KO onto my Ice Rider Kylox and then do some damage into my Moons. So I mean, from here, we could fake out the Ursaluna and try to put it to sleep. That could be a good option for us. Or I can just bring out Ursula. Wow, that actually just KO'd my Amoongus. Alright, that's fine. Urshifu could be that guy to actually win us this match. Really depending on who they have. And I feel like they have to have Shen Power Rayquaza. And if that's the case, that's not looking good for us. That is not looking good for us. <laughs> it is not looking good. Let's see. You gotta have Shen Power Rayquaza. Let's see. We got Scrafty back on the field. Trying to get a dub here, match number one. It's going to be Rayquaza. We're going to really hope this thing's not clear amulet, but it probably is, right? It most likely is. I would love to intimidate this point one. I would love to intimidate him, and it is clear amulet. Yeah. All right, so from here, we're going to fake out Rayquaza, and I think we just take out Ursaluna. I don't want to tear grass just yet, or even Thrasilize at all yet. I'm just going to get rid of Ursaluna, but this is just not looking good. This is not looking good. <laughs> Yo, Rayquaza is just going to E-speed us. He's just going to E-speed me, and I can't really do much damage up against Rayquaza. I really cannot. The chances are Shen Pao's probably Focus Ash. So we're just going to fake out the Rayquaza, make a flinch this turn, and get rid of Ursaluna. So Ursaluna gone. Shen Pao's going to come out here. How do I go from here? Real tough news for us. Real tough news, but not gonna lie, that burn play was just huge for them. If I honestly just went into a uh, the fire terror early on in that match, we would have probably won no problem. That was on me not trusting my gut. I trusted my gut there, man. Yo, we could have got off Trick Room. We could have had Calyrex boosted on attack, no burn, just ripping. So that comes to final Pokemon, and look who it is. Obviously, it's gonna be the Shen Pao. Now from here, what is even our play here? Because Scrafty's dead, right? Scrafty's just gone. Scrafty stands no chance. I love to super fang you. But at the same time, I love to take off your focus ash and try to pick up KO onto you. But I mean, we're not really doing much here. I could go for a coach, but you're, you're dead, Scrafty. You're not surviving anything. You're not surviving anything. I mean, we could try that. I'd rather Surging Strikes this thing rather than Close Combat, because you are Focus Ash, so I'm just going to do that. And there's really no point of us even Thrasilizing. Sacred Sword is just going to pick up the KO. Rayquaza, I'm surprised you're not going for e speed here. Let's see what Rayquaza is going for. Oh, he's going for, uh, what's that move? It's Signature move. Dragon Ascent. It's just going to KO me with Dragon Ascent. Can the Surging Strikes even KO you? It leaves him on one anyway, so we try to bypass the Focus Ash, and he lives on one regardless, and yeah, there's the Dragon Ascent. That's gonna be game. Even if I Terrastalize into Grass, it didn't really matter, so... Again, we lost that match because I didn't follow my gut. We end up going 0-1. Let's go hop into our second match, look to bounce back. It's time for our bounce back game. Hopping into our second match, going up against Zamazenta. Now, Zamazenta, really strong Pokemon, can boost his defense rather easily, which is really scary for me. I mean, 
having a crit monster like Urshifu is going to be great for us. So I definitely going to want to bring that. They also have Tinglu. They got Incineroar. Furthermore, they got Whimsicott. Um, what is that? Ogre Pond and Fluttermane. Now, Fluttermane could have Imprisoned Trick Room. It could have Trick Room on its hands. We're just going to have to watch out for that. I think still going into Scrafty and Calyrex is in our best interest. I do actually just really like that. So I'm going to end up leading both of them. I just think that's a good call for us. We got to bring the Earth food in the back end. And last but not least, do we go Raging Bolt or Chiyu? I actually kind of like Chiyu here. I kind of like Chiyu. I just think being very fast is going to be in a, a good spot for us and being special attacking is going to be good. But this team is just really, really powerful. I mean, having Samazenta with Incineroar to lower physical attackers and then having Ting Lu deal with the special attackers, it's good. It's a good squad. It's a real good squad. So we want to look to kind of make ways around this. Maybe just coach up this, this Calyrex and make it an absolute unit. That might be our best play. I mean, we got the Scraps. We do have the Scraps, which is good. Everybody loves the Scraps. Got that Fire Terror if, if we need it. If we need it. I'm not sure if we're going to need it, though. It really depends on who they go into. I mean, obviously, if they go into Incineroar, which they most likely will do, that Terror could come in clutch. But I'm really hoping our scrap can just outspeed their Incineroar, just so we can fake it out, right? Just so we can fake it out before they fake us out. But they're going to go Zamazenta and Fluttermane. This kind of leads me to think that they're going to cancel out Trick Room with Fluttermane. Right? And then we should just fake out this Zamazenta. Are we going to Poison Tower with Scrafty just in case? As like a precautionary kind of thing? I think we should. I think we should. This thing is going to put us into spruce. I think we have to go into like a precautionary kind of kind of thing here. And then just fake out Samacenta. I could go for Glacial Lance. I could. I could. But actually, I should actually right now. Because we're faking out Samacenta. And we're going to try to force him into a wide guard the next turn. That we are play. I'm cool with this. Alright, so this lead is definitely really tough. We're really hoping that they're going for Trick Room to cancel out our Trick Room. That's what I'm really hoping for, because that would be very beneficial for us. But there's a chance that they just straight up have it in prison. We'll Terrasalize our Scrafty, just in case of the Fairy typing coming in here with Fluttermane. We, we really want Scrafty for a couple turns here. We really want Scrafty for a couple turns. We go for that terror, we go for the fake out. Bop, a little bit of damage. Look how little that is. That might have been one damage. He's just gonna go for a Shadow Ball, so he's just attacking him, which kinda sucks. I should just pop trick him. And we're surviving this. We are surviving this. And I pick up a KO on the Fluttermane. Alright, cool. So Fluttermane's gone with a critical hit. We go plus one. Mmm. How could I actually play this so we can get off Trick Room again? Maybe hard swap into a Venus? That might be a play. I'm surprised he just went for Shadow Ball instead of just trying to cancel out my Trick Room. Usually when I see Fluttermane, especially for like a lead, I feel like they're just going to try to cancel out Trick Room. But now Ting Lu comes out here. Um, That's fine by me. I could start Super Fanging a lot of these things if I really wanted to. But I think our best interest is to just swap into... Oh, we don't have a Moongus. Why do I think we have a Moongus? Why do I think we have a Moongus? I don't know why I thought we had a Moongus, but I'm just going to start Super Fanging these Pokemon down. We'll start off with Ting Lu. So I'm going to go into Ting Lu here. Um, if I can, honestly, we should just protect Calyrex here. They're probably just going to attack me. So I'm going to Super Fang. Start half an HP around here. I'm just going to start half an HP. And he's going to Terrasalize that, that uh, Ting Lu, which is fine. Into Poison? No, into Ground. So he's looking just to KO my Scrafty. He's looking to KO my Scrafty. Probably just going to KO my Scrafty, right? Calyrex is just going to Protect. I would think he'd be going for like a body press in that slot. Scrafty, can he also be Ting Lu? And you go for Behemoth Bash. You are minus one. We might be able to soak that. That'd be a massive soak. Super Fang is going to outspeed, which is huge. Half your HP. We'll take some Rocky Helmet damage. Chance our Scrafty's dead here, right? Stop and catch him to KO the Scrafsky. No, Scrafty survives. I love you, Scrafty. That's massive, because now I can Super Fang you. Because now I can Super Fang you, and I can try to go for Glacial Lance. Just for KO. I like this. So, either way, we're getting off a of Super Fang here, which is massive. The thing is, can we soak a Behemoth Bash? You're minus one. You're not that... You're not that physically attacking. Like, you're not that... 
you know what? Your physical attack stat isn't that crazy. So if we can soak a Behemoth Bash, I know it's super effective. This would just be huge, because then I cannot go off of Glacial Lance. And actually, you're going to Behemoth Bash Scrafty. And I think Caldex should be faster than this Tin Lu. I think it should be. There's only one speed difference from that Scrafty, and it is awesome. So Caldex going to pick up the KO onto Ting Lu. We get rid of that. And there's Amazenta cannot swap out now. All right, so not bad. So Scrafty getting some work done. Super Fang getting after it. I'm surprised they went for the Scraft. I was really hoping they were kind of going after the Caldex and we would soak that, but this works fine. You're not plus two now. I could bring out... Who should I bring out here? I think we saved our Urshfu. I think we just go right into Chiyu. I mean, Heat Wave could be our best friend. Heat Wave with the Chewy Scarf could definitely be our, be our best friend. But our final Pokemon is going to be Ogre Pine. That's totally fine. Chiyu's typing is awesome up against that. I'm just going to throw a Heat Wave. It's Heat Wave time. It is Heat Wave time. I kind of wish we had Terra here, but we're just going to launch some Heat Waves. Do I go for Heat Wave or do I switch it to the Flamethrower? I think we trust Heat Wave, right? I think we just trust Heat Wave. And if I can, obviously just go for a Glacial Lance. Honestly, you could Wide Guard. I'm choicing with this. All right, it's KO and Zombies out there. That's huge. That's huge. So we land, we pick up the KO, the Choice Scarf Chiu in the back end, cleaning the mess up. And like I said, this was a bounce back battle. This was a bounce back battle. And guess what we did? We bounced back. Especially with Scrafty. Scrafty was great. Faking out that first turn. Super Fang is massive, especially up against this bulky Pokemon. Intimidating. Everything worked out perfectly. So Scrafty getting after it in match number two. We're able to bring out Urshfu late game here and win this match no prop. So I'll go Heat Wave. I will just go for a Surging Strikes. There's really no need to, to go into an Aqua Jet. Actually, maybe we should have went into an Aqua Jet. The only way they win is if we miss this Heat Wave, which we don't. I was going to say, if we miss the Heat Wave, they can go for Horn Leech, KO, and get HP at the same time. But at this point, I think we were fine because Chi was soaking up a shot or two. Final match on its way, and we're going up against Terrapagos and Comf Terrapagos Comfy. Really strong combo. Definitely got to watch out for that, especially with two fake out users. I'm really annoyed at that. They got Incineroar, they got Rillaboom, and then Urshifu and Fluttermane. We're sitting one and one with Scrafty. Would love to grab ourselves a winning bracket, but Scrafty, honestly, going to be a decent lead. I love fake out here. I love knockoff. I love Super Fang. I love it all. I love it all. So I'm going to go Scrafty here, and do I just go into Calyx, look to pop the Trick Room? I think I look to pop the Trick Room. I like it a lot. We're going to go into both of these guys, really get after it again, and then in the back end, we're going to go Amoongus, because obviously Amoongus and Trick Room is going to be awesome. And finally, da -da -da -da, Urshifu? I like Urshifu up against everything except for Rollboom. So yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. I am gonna do that. That's the genes play here. That's the genes play. But I think they're gonna lead Incineroar and maybe to Rapgos. And honestly, I maybe should have just like played off of that and went Urshifu for our lead. But on the off chance that they don't do this, our, our lead could be pretty solid here. Let's see who you got. Like I said, Incineroar to Rapgos. Yeah, we probably should have went into a slightly different lead, but I don't mind this because let's see if our Intimidate goes first because I would love to just outspeed here. I would love to just outspeed. I got my as one abilities. You can't eat a berry, Incineroar, which is great news for us. And their Intimidate comes out here first, so they're faster than us at this point. They are faster than us. Hmm. I'm going to fake out the Terrapagos here. And I'm going to try to pull off Trick Room. So obviously they can go into... This could be a Meteor Beam Terrapagos. A lot of them have been going over to meta. But they could fake out my Scrafty. If they fake out Scrafty, then we get off Trick Room. If they fake out Calyrex, and we fake out Terrapagos, we get rid of their Terror Shell. So it's like... I feel like this turn is pretty, pretty neutral here, right? They could just go into a Parting Shot as well. But I'm really hoping we get off, get off Trick Room just so I can start what's called just so i can start going into what's a uh, um coaching kind of going from there but yeah they end up faking out scrafty he's gonna go for calm mind calm mind's fine i mean i can start coaching after this i think i coach and get rid of incineroar more importantly this next turn yeah, i'm gonna coach up and i'm just gonna look to get rid of incineroar with the high horsepower I don't feel like dealing with a knockoff or a flare blitz. I think we could soak up whatever Terrapagos has to offer. So they, they go combine, we get off Trick Room. Not bad turns for us. Well, it's bad at all. 
Because I feel like if I can just start boosting this, uh, this Ice Rider Calyx, especially with a KO here, this Glacier Lance can start doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Especially if going for, for another Calm Mind here. High horsepower. Are we missing? We're missing! That, dude, that's a massive high horsepower right there. That's just absurd. That's just an absurd loss right there. That's just absurd for us. That's just bad news. You're going for another Calm Mind, aren't you? You're going for Terra Star Storm. Okay, you didn't Terrasalize, which is good. Grafty's able to soak. That really hurts the soul, man. That really hurts the soul. So Scrafty does go first, which is good news for us. I can super fang half your HP. Um, oh man. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna do this and we're just gonna high horsepower. I mean, you might swap here now. You honestly might swap into Rillaboom. You might swap into Rillaboom at this point. So, you know, we're just gonna go super fang here. I'm just gonna go Glacial Lance. That hurts the soul that we missed that high horsepower. That could have set us up for perfection. Super Fang gonna fly here. Terror Shell. Does that even, like, do anything to Super Fang? It should still have HP, right? Yeah, cool. And it does. Blaze Glance, can you KO the Trap Ghost? Being plus one? Alright, that's huge. Now, see, that's that's kind of how I want to play that one. I want to high horsepower KO that Incineroar last turn, B plus two, and then Glacier Lance get rid of the Trap Ghost like we just did there. But he ends up parting shotting into me, which was a big mistake. A big mistake. We're still plus one on attack. You could have just KO'd my Calyrex. Now you left it on the field. Now you left it on the field in Trick Room. In Trick Room. That's huge. I honestly might just go back into Incineroar here, which I would. Just to lower my attack back to normal. I still have Terror, though. We are going to get back some HP. Probably go back into Incineroar just to intimidate me. I don't have clear ammo anymore. Alright. Not bad. Yep, there's Incineroar. Scrafty's on the field. So Scrafty's actually taking some mean... Some mean damage here. They could double fake me out. I'm gonna go for a Super Fang here. I'd love to go for a Glacial Lance if I can, but I'm just gonna protect here. I mean, gotta play it smart here. Gotta play it smart. So protect the Calyrex. If Scrafty dies, Scrafty dies. And show me you're only going for one fake out. Don't double fake me out. I would love to get off the Super Fang. We do get off the Super Fang, yo. Scrafty with Super Fang, I love it. Just half an HP is just so big. Just for another parting shot here. Another parting shot tries to fly. Another question is, who do I attack? Who do I attack? I could coach up again and just go for Glacial Lance. I could do that. I could do that. I could coach again. I think that's their play. We're defensively bulked. We're gonna, we're gonna coach up, go for that plus one boost. Get my defense to plus two. And just send a Glacial Lance. You're probably gonna Thrasilize Roll Boom into fire, but I mean, Glacial Lance should still do really short damage. And we're able to soak up a Grass Guide. My boy Scrafty. My boy Scrafty doing Scrafty things. Coaching comes out. Give me that attack boost. Give me that defense boost. Glacial Lance gonna say bye bye to Roll Boom. And Cinderor, I don't know about you. Yeah, you're gonna be able to survive. That's fine. So, plenty of value out of her Calyrex. Pretty much puts us in a good position to win this game. But I am so surprised they did not KO the Calyrex when they when they had a chance to. And you're still not KOing this thing. This makes no sense to me. I'm plus one on attack now. But now I'm going to be back to even. This is crazy. That Like, you are parting shotting into me when you could just get rid of my... When you can just get rid of him. You can just get rid of him. So they're going to send out another full HP Pokemon. Which is going to be Confi. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm just gonna super fang into that. Actually, you're just gonna first and priority drain and kiss me. That's fine. That's no big deal. I could protect Calyx. I'm actually not gonna protect Calyx. I'm just gonna attack. Intimidate again. We're back even on attack. Which is just absurd, right? We're, I'm pretty sure we're even. Obviously, I'm gonna go for a super fang here. I wanna make sure that we're even. We are even on attack. That's crazy. I've been parting shot it twice, intimidated it once. Actually, twice. Just because of all of our KOs and stuff. And we'll go for Glacial Lance if we can. Maybe I should have protected Calyrex there. But I like our back end Pokemon to win this game, right? We go for a Floral Healing. Floral Healing comes out here. So you're going to heal up the Incineroar. It's a rather smart turn there. He's going to go for a knockoff and finally pick up the KO. Actually, no, you don't. We're defensively full. <laughs> yeah, you should have KO'd my Calyrex a long time ago. We're able to do this. Super Fang actually not doing too much here. And we'll go from there. Not bad. We're just so bulked. 
Do I try to pop a trick room? I mean, you might just floral healing up again. But then we should be able to eat up a knockoff, unless you're going for flare blitz. I could protect here. Could hard swap. I mean, our backup Pokemon are great. I still have Terra as well. You know what? We're just going to protect and we're just going to go for a... We're just going to go for a Super Fang. Because I think you go for another Floral Healing here. I really do. I really do. Not bad at all for us so far. So far, so good. So far, so good. I would love I would love to pop a Trick Room if we could. Because I could just, like, you know, put Pokemon to sleep. I think if we just slow play this one, we should be able to win it. Because they don't have... Their, their, their attack power here is just... Not really there. So I think you go for another floor healing here, just to heal him up. Yeah. And I think you go after my Ice Rider Calyrex, and at this point, we're just going to half your HP. He's back up to full, and yep, there's knockoff. I'm going to be able to get back a little bit of HP to Calyrex. I am going to try to pop Trick Room, because if I get off Trick Room... Ooh-wee. Kind of forced him to go back into Floral Healing here. And honestly, I'm just going to attack. I don't think I should pop Trick Room. I really don't think I should pop Trick Room. Did I knock off Confi's item? I don't even know. I really don't know. I think you guys have berries. I really do. I'm going to knock off Incineroar's item just in case it's there. I'm just going to go for a higher horsepower. I don't want to pop Trick Room because I have Ur uh, Urshifu in the back end. So he goes for the Floral Healing. Maybe I should have coached up this turn. But let's see how much damage High Horsepower can do. It's crazy. Floral Healing is crazy. Fire Blitz flies to rear. We do survive that one. Just huge. And you get a burn. What is going on? <laughs> you get a burn here. Give me a crit. Burn for crit. Nah, we don't get the crit. It right, looks like we need to get rid of Comfy. Looks like we just need to get rid of Comfy first and foremost. Let's just start attacking Comfy. Take off that thing, Citrus Berry. Burn's gonna KO me next turn. I wonder if he just goes for another Floral Healing. That is kind of funny. Oh, we're gonna go for Knockoff into Confi. Confi could be rocking a Berry as well. And we'll go for Glacial Lands. I just gotta get rid of Confi. He's just gonna spam Floral Healing. I feel like this ending is taking way longer than it should. Yeah, there's Floral Healing again. Alright, you're gone. We're not dealing with you. We're, we're getting rid of Confi. Floral Healing is just so good. Knockoff's gonna actually try to KO Scrafty for no reason. That was just stupid. And you allow me to get off another Glacial Lance. Alright, so now we can wait. Bye bye to Confi. This makes no sense. Like, every chance they have to KO my Ice Rider Calyrex, they're just not taking it. Like, I'm like, here you go. KO my Calyrex. And they're like, nope. Just allowing it to get off shots. I mean, Calyrex is dying to the burn. I think that's why they did it. It's kind of reminded me of, like, the, uh, the SpongeBob episode where... Man Ray has Patrick's wallet. He's like, your name's Patrick Sar. Yep. So this must be your wallet. Yep. Then take it. Oh, that's not my wallet. <laughs> this is your Ice Rider Calyrex. Yep. It is low HP. Yep. I should probably kill it now. Makes sense to me. Then kill my Ice Rider Calyrex. Oh, but I'm not gonna do it. That's exactly what that's exactly how they're playing right now. I'm going to a Super Fang. I'm just going to go into a Certain Strikes. Actually, Close Combat would be better. And they finally... They canceled Battle after all that. That was just... That was just a mess. My boy Scrafty. Getting after it in today's video and grabbing us a winning record. I love Scrafty so much. Pairing it up with Ice Rider Calyx just felt right. It felt like a good combo. Scrafty was perfect. Had knockoff, Super Fang, Coaching, and Fake Out. And every single one of those moves are really viable on this Pokemon. You got to see it in today's video. We were taking off items. Super Fang was clutch up against bulky Pokemon. Coaching helped out tremendously on the Calyrex. And Fake Out, obviously one of the best moves in all of competitive doubles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.